some of the uh, comedians in the circuit in South Florida. We're MiamiComedy.com. We've been doing this for years. So uh, first of all, thank you for supporting what we're about to do. Uh, secondly, if you don't like a joke, don't go on Google reviews or Yelp reviews and start talking shit. If you have a problem with the joke, let me know. I'll handle it by kicking you the fuck out for not having a good sense of humor. If you got a good sense of humor, make some noise. All right, it's always the people that don't clap that get me nervous. <laughs> Himself. He's like, oh, I'm a snitch. <laughs> Once again, thanks for supporting live stand-up comedy. We have a great lineup tonight, starting with our host, this guy all the way from the Bronx. Started here in Miami, went to New York, got great, came back, became even greater, put chance together for Evan Wimberly, guys. Cop it up for Evan Wimberly. Tonight, I came into the club to host the show, and this is what Manny handed me. Guys, you're looking at my first comedy W2. Give it up for me, man. Yes. Manny said, Evan, you are the highest paid Miami comedy comedian this year. $56.76. <laughs> we working on the dream. <laughs> I'm from Jersey. We, were, we lived in Jersey first. Anybody from Jersey in the house? What's up? Jersey? What's up? What about New York? New York in the house? Yeah! One motherfucker in the back. Right. He lying. He never been in New York. I miss the pizza up there. You ever had the pizza up north? It's a lot different, right? Hell yeah, that shit sucks down here. And people say it's the water, the water's different, or I don't believe it. I think it's the Italians, yo, that's what it is. You go up north, you go to pizzeria, it's fucking Italians running that shit. Right, we got Italians in the house? Yeah. One Italian in the back, she's like, all right, watch your mouth, you fucking <laughs> spick. All right. And let me tell you, I hit a milestone as a woman in my 30s today. I pulled my first muscle doing absolutely nothing. Wow, like life changing. I'm a server at a restaurant, you guys. Let me just clarify. It's a very physical job. You're lifting, you're walking, you're running around, you're yelling shit. There's an older woman who works there and she, I don't know what the fuck is up, but she's come out of the corner. Apparently she'd been there all morning already with a fucking cigarette and she was like, honey, that's just part of getting older. That happens to me every morning before I get here. I was like, fuck, all right, this is just what I have to look forward to? Fuck, how old are you? And she was like, 36. <laughs> now, my grandmother, she just figured out how to use Instagram uh, to promote her OnlyFans. And, uh, my grandma, you've only got one follower, you know, and I'm already subscribed. You don't need to do that, it's totally unnecessary. All right, cool. I love smoking weed. Like the other day, I was smoking a joint on my house, and my roommate walks in, clearly pissed as fuck. I'm like, here we go, this bitch is always mad about something. And I'm like, what's wrong? You want to hit? Mom? <laughs> you guys are somewhere together. Yes. That's you? Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Give me some. I give some for our black people, you feel me? You know, so fuck this white ass crap. I was playing this <laughs> one. When I walked in this bitch, I was like, oh, it's not enough niggas in here. I know, both of you, we all looked at each other. I was like, ah, it's three, we're safe. <laughs> white people won't kill three black people, they'll, they'll kill one. <laughs> three, that, that's too much, that's too much. I don't think you guys want to talk about dating, probably. Tough dating in Miami, right? Especially with a girlfriend. I mean, it is a pain in the dick, right? I was on a date the other night, just play along, right? And we're leaving some uh, really classy restaurant, like a Chili's or something, and a uh, homeless man comes up to me and says, hey man, can you help me out? Do you have a dollar? I was like, sorry buddy, I just spent it all. Uh, but this girl, she hasn't spent a dime yet tonight, so I'll uh, check in with her. Women now, they have a lot of things on their mind. They have a lot of things moving. There's a new term women have been giving me, it's called no expectations. They love to go out, but they always say, we can go out, we can have a good time, let's have a night on the town, but no expectations. I say, sure, let's meet at seven o'clock. I show up at 9.45. <laughs> Did you expect me to be on time? You said no expectations. All right guys, give up for Black History Month. You guys don't give a shit, shut up. <laughs> 
I, you know what's crazy? I don't really like Black History Month because white people get extra as fuck. Like, especially at my job to be walking up, they be like, oh, Brian, I see you. <laughs> Bitch, you saw me yesterday. What the fuck are you talking about? The game is called, again, what have you done for a black person? This seems like a great month to play this game. I need three contestants that are not black. Any volunteers? <laughs> wow, the support is really coming in this year. I really, <laughs> do you feel supported? I, I really feel it. I need three volunteers that are not black. Why are you pointing at him? You're not black either. You're the first one. What have you done for a black person? Yes, you. In the last six months. Okay, the last 12 months. So, all right, so. All right, uh, who's next? You? Yes, you, ma'am. Yes, you. I'll take one from either one of you. What have you done for a black person? Jesus Christ, man, come on guys. We got two days left in Black History Month. I need one more contestant. I'm not, there you go, yes, a volunteer. I gave him a baby. You gave him a baby, oh. give it up for that. Yeah. Procreating with a black man, give it up for her. <laughs> That's right, where is he now, where's the, where's the baby? See with him? The, the baby with him? Yeah. Oh, oh, where, where is he? Jesus Christ, man, he is not represented, man. <laughs> We try, we try.